Hey guys, what is happening? My name is Julian Shaw. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I am gonna be doing the Watch of the Week segment from time to time when I just see something so damn good that I have to share with you. And right now, the best documentaries on television are about wrestling. In particular, Undertaker, The Last Ride. I just finished watching part three. Oh my God, this is the best documentary series that WWE has ever put together. Now, you may not be a wrestling fan. I urge you to continue anyway, because this is a really special piece of entertainment. You probably know who The Undertaker is. He is a wrestling legend. And the thing that's unique about him is that he never really broke character for 30 years. In the 1980s, WWE pulled back the curtain and admitted essentially that, hey, this is just entertainment. This ain't real, this is a spectacle. And then especially in the early 90s when Vince McMahon was on trial for steroids uh, in order to distance himself from professional sport, he really had to lean into that and break kayfabe, which is a term meaning maintaining the illusion of wrestling at all costs. So that illusion has not existed for many years. Side note, I realized that wrestling wasn't real when I was about seven years old. And that was when I truly fell in love with it because I realized it was an art form and I realized that it was just like a movie or a multi-part soap opera. And it actually enhanced my enjoyment. The fact that these weren't legitimate fights. These were performers coming together and telling this story, this very pure kind of storytelling uh, in this physical arena. So the unique thing about The Undertaker is he has this gimmick as the dead man, and he genuinely inspires fear in the audience. So this is him finally pulling back the curtain uh, as a guy in his mid-50s who is wrestling with retirement uh, and really just not able to let go. It's very reminiscent of the movie The Wrestler by Darren Aronofsky. This is a performer who is beaten down by busted up has given his heart and soul to this business which is the only thing he knows and he just can't quite let go and that's what makes it such a compelling human story. This is unprecedented access and it's a really touching story uh, in the sense of you get to see Undertaker behind the scenes as Mark Calloway, his real name, and it's his interactions with his wife Michelle McCool that just get me. You know I cry so many times uh, watching these two because there's such a love between them and there's something so special and pure about the way that this wife just supports her husband on his quest for greatness even as his body's breaking down and the love that they have is very palpable. This is also the most raw I've ever seen Vince McMahon emotionally. I mean it gets the point tonight where he can't even continue doing an interview because he's so choked up and he's signaling we gotta cut there because I can't even form a sentence when he's talking about The Undertaker and how much he loves him. So I was a fan of The Undertaker growing up. I've always loved wrestling. And I mean, let me tell you something about the pull of this character. I went all the way across the country from Portland to New Orleans to go to WrestleMania 34 because I knew it'd be my last chance to see The Undertaker in person. I'd been wanting to do it my entire life. And it lived up to expectations completely. Wow, that's as good as it gets. That's bucket list. Now, a lot of people feel that The Undertaker shouldn't have even had that match with John Cena. I loved it personally. I can see if you were there at WrestleMania 33, when he apparently retired, uh, you might feel a little bit cheated or just like, God, this guy really should have hung up the jacket and boots. But there is such a draw to that character. It keeps pulling in new fans. You can understand why Mike Calloway doesn't want to let go of it. It's his legacy. And if his body is able to perform at any percentage of the capacity that he's always worked at, why wouldn't you keep coming back for one match? And that's what the fundamental question of this whole series is. When do you let go? How important is your legacy? Can we really admit when the time is over? Because in a sense, when you retire, you're sort of facing your own mortality. You're saying, I can't do it anymore. And that's something that no athlete or performer really ever wants to do. And it's the way that we get to see behind the scenes and see the self-doubt of this performer who has brought this larger-than-life supernatural character to life for decades. That's what draws you in. That's what makes this so emotionally compelling. And, you know, I'm just a sucker for behind-the-scenes stories. I loved The Player growing up, the Robert Altman movie. Uh, I love Entourage. I love 
kind of like the machinations of show business and probably because you know I work in it myself in that field I, I love seeing how the sausages are made and there are shots here behind the scenes that you just never thought you would see as a wrestling fan uh, and in particular I think The Undertaker after Wrestlemania 33 when he'd apparently retired and left his outfit in the ring descending down through the stage and this interaction that he has uh, with Triple H it's just something I never thought I'd see as a wrestling fan. I never thought I would get that close. And that's the hallmark of good documentary filmmaking, is feeling like you are right there with the subject. So, in that regard, this is a home run from WWE. No question about it. Episode 3 is definitely much more for wrestling fans rather than just a general audience. Uh, but it's possible that if you were really hooked emotionally from Episode 1 and 2, that you might just continue on through this five-part series. But I would say if you were a fan of sports, the behind the scenes of show business, the behind the scenes of entertainment, this is a documentary must see. It is streaming now on WWE Network. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, next time I see something that just blows my mind, I'm going to be telling you about it and doing another one of these Watch of the Weeks. Please like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you all soon.